Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna show you how you can hook up each one of these different, very different generators to your house, okay? Someone asked, what cable can you use to hook up a 240 volt plug, 30 amp twist lock, 120 volt 20 amp plug, and this one's uh, gonna be the same plug as the uh, 2000 watt, but what most people don't understand that you can power your home with any size generator using the right adapter okay so i'm going to show you just that i'm going to show you my transfer switch the cable i use and the different adapters you can use to connect different generator sizes it doesn't matter the size of the generator it just matters the amount of load that you have to uh, keep in mind that you can power something like this has 9,500 starting watts and 7,600 running watts. Something like this, you're gonna, the Predator 3500, you, you have a 3500 starting watt, but you only have 3,000 running, so you have to keep that in mind. Once you go to the 2,000 watt generator, you can only run 1,600 watts. Then you get down to the 1,000, the 1,400, you can only run 1,100 watts. So you're looking more like a uh, refrigerator and some lights and um, maybe a uh, small small heater, like a 700 watt heater. Okay guys, so I got in my hands here, 25 feet generator cable, okay? So this is the cable that hooks up to the transfer switch in your house. You're gonna have a four pin, a four pin 30 amp uh, L14-30. This is what you need. To, to plug into your house. Let's show you right. Okay guys, so this is a transfer box, okay? Transfer switch, whatever you wanna call it. It's a transfer box, transfer switch. This is reliance control. You have 10 circuits, all right? So you'd go through your house, you'd pick what circuit you wanna power through your generator. You have 10. Okay, so you, like, you could use your kitchen, restroom, master bedroom, guest bedroom, garage, um, ceiling fan, microwave, you know, wh whatever, toaster, fridge. You just pick 10 circuits in your breaker box. And you can see this goes right into the breaker box. You pick what circuit you want to power. You would take this end right here and it would just connect like this and it kind of twists and locks, okay? So it's, that's why it's called a twist lock. So once you got it connected here, this end goes into your generator, okay? So this end goes into your generator, but most generators don't have the four pin. So you have to use an adapter. Let's go back outside and I'm gonna show you the different adapters that you can buy to plug any generator to your transfer switch. So this plug plugs into that, okay? Now this end would plug easily into the 9500 because the 9500 has this connector. Let's go outside and check. The Predator 9500, okay? This generator right here, you would not need to adapt this plug because it has this built on. This is a four pin, 240 volt, 30 amp plug. So this is the front of our generator. We would get our plug and let's just go through the Predator for a second. Let's get all these opened up. You have choices on this one. 30 amp, 20 amp, 30 amp. So if you had this right here, this is a four pin, see? it would fit directly into this guy, okay? So you wouldn't have to adapt this one. If you, if you were trying to hook this up to your house, you would have access to the four pin, okay? Right here. Okay, that's the Predator. And you also have the option of running 120 and you would switch that to 240 and you would connect two legs, okay? So this would be power, power, ground, neutral. 
okay? Let's go to the 3500. If you have a Predator 3500 and you're trying to connect it to your home, the first thing you're going to run into is this issue right here. You don't have a four pin on the Predator. Let's see what the Predator has, the 3500. Yes. So we're looking at the 3500 and if you're trying to connect it to your transfer switch, the first problem you're going to run into is this is a four pin. This is a three pin twist lock. Okay, can you guys see that? One, two, three. And this is four, it's not gonna work. So what you're gonna need is this right here. This adapter has four pins, okay, female, and it has a three pin. You would get the side that goes into the uh, four pin and you would adapt it with this one. So this is what you would need. You would adapt it, find your correct, plug it in, twist, twist lock. Now you have four pin down to three. You're still gonna power everything in your house, but now you are able to hook it up with the 3500. Then you just connect this to that. So that leaves you with perfect connection okay remember you still have to follow the rules of the 3000 running watt can't go over okay so you would just it would be easier to hook up your uh, stuff in your house but you still have to follow the 3500 so you could just directly connect to your refrigerator your master bedroom your plugs your restroom everything would be seamlessly you, you wouldn't have to run any extension cords okay Let's go to another one. If you don't have a 30, you have a 2000, but you still want to connect to your house seamlessly using your um, transfer switch. What you would need, if you observe the 2000s only have 120 volt, 20 amp plugs, okay? Guys, this is where this comes in handy this adapter. This adapter has 120 volt 20 amp plug and it converts it into a four pin. So you would just connect this right here like this, twist lock, and then connect it to your Predator. And guess what? Now you can connect directly to your house using your predator and that goes the same for the 1000 but now you have to follow the 1600 watts that's all you have to play with okay and you would use the exact same connection for your 1000 you can use a 1000 watt generator and it will still connect to your reliance box so if you want to just connect it to your refrigerator, get some lights, maybe use a ceiling fan, you have the ability to do that, guys. You don't have to settle. You can use these adapters to do it. I'm going to show you one more. And since the Predators does not have uh, the RV ready plug, if you have a generator with the RV ready 30 amp plug, well, I'm not going to forget you. So you can plug this into your RV ready 30 amp plug, uh, generator and it will convert it to a four pin. And this adapter will work for those generators. Okay. Four pin. I just want to thank you for watching this quick video on adapters. Uh, I hope this explains a lot to you guys how you can use any size generator you don't have to have a specific generator to hook up to the uh, transfer switch you can use a 1000 2000 3000 or a 9000 watt generator using these adapters okay you just have to find the right adapter I'm gonna put all these adapters in the link so you could find them and uh, hook up your generator to the the transfer switch thanks for watching Gavin's garage guys have a nice day thanks for watching bye Okay guys, this is the Predator 
1000 watt generator it puts that 1400 watts starting power and 1100 running watts of running okay this is predator super quiet 1000 watt generator then we have the predator 2000 the predator put, puts out 1600 running watts and 2000 peak it has two plugs 120 volt 13.3 max you got the predator 3500 3000 running watts 20 amp and one tree slot 30 amp 1000 has one 30 amp 3 pin tree slot 4 GFCI 120 and 1 30 amp 4 pin twist lock that puts out 240 volts or selectable 120 so you could select it right here